the neighborhoods that I lived in weren't very pretty or nice, especially to young children, because there were things that they were doing that children my age shouldn't be exposed to, such as drug dealings, and you had fights and violent altercations going on. I don't really consider having a childhood because I felt like I had to give up my childhood since I was the oldest, um, and my mom had to work multiple jobs, so I was left babysitting my younger siblings and helping them with homework, doing what my mom couldn't do because she wasn't really around. There were times where we were left with no lights or no cable and stuff like that. So we were left just like coloring in books. And they made us feel like we were at home. It wasn't like, oh, you're the new kid, so let's pick on you and find some weaknesses about you and tease you about it. It's let's bring you in because we're all a family. The Boys and Girls Club has like basically built me from being the shy little girl or the one who didn't have a voice at first. So at the Boys and Girls Club, I found my voice. Um, I was able to build my character, my service, my communication skills. And that's where I became junior staff. I took on all my leadership skills. And from there, I've been the leader on campus and at the Boys and Girls Club. I hope you support club members just like me.